Hi, welcome to another ArtRage 4 tutorial, and today we're going to discuss the ArtRage interface. So let's get started. It's going to be a great day. Now, when you're looking at the window uh, and everything's small like this, these little small uh, squares are called pods, and the pods open up to panels. And you can click and hold to trigger a pod to open. Now, on the top, you have the menu pod, which opens to the, a menu bar. On the left, you have stickers, stencils, setting tools, and preset pods, which are things you will use to change your painting. And on the right, you have the layers, tracing, refs, color, and sample pods, which help you with your color and, and references that you may use for tracing or photographs uh, while you're drawing. And here are open panels, and these panels contain most of the functions of ArtReach. Now, if an item or panel does not have a text label, then it will have a tool tip. And to access the tool tip, just hover your cursor over the item, and a small text tip will appear telling you what it is. Just as here, we see that this is a watercolor brush. Now, when you customize anything in ArtReach, such as stencils and stickers, you would choose those from a resource panel. And the resource panel has different types that are organized into groups for you. So on the left hand of the picker are the groups that are available to you. And you click a group and on the right side, it would include all the available objects in that group. So you can create favorites, you can add a group, you can import stencils. So you have a lot of options. So these are the type of things that are available to you in your resource pickers. Now let's open up preferences and we're just going to look at cursors for now. From left to right, you have the precise cursor, which is just going to be a small crosshair that shows precisely where your stroke will begin. Next, we have the outline cursor, which shows the outline of the tool shape uh, that you are drawing a painting with. Now, when your outline cursor is too small, the precise cursor is automatically used. Next, we have the tool cursor, and this is the appearance of the tool that you are actually using. Okay, now let's have fun with floating panels. Open up the stencil panel here, and any gray title bar at the top of the panel can be used to manipulate it. So I move the panel by clicking and dragging on the title bar. I can scale the panel by holding down Command on the Mac, Control on Windows, and click and drag the title bar. And I can increase this to 200% or reduce it to 25%. I can rotate the panel by holding an option on the Mac, Alt on Windows, and click and drag on the title bar and rotate. And if I hold down the shift, the panel will rotate in 50 degree increments. I could also access the options menu by right clicking the title bar. And here you see I have something called Jumpify, and that just supplies a random rotation. And I close the panel by clicking the X button in the title bar. Some panels you can change the size by expanding or collapsing them, which is different from scaling them. For instance, the layers panel. There's a size and grip at the bottom, and I can use that to change the size of the panel by clicking and dragging the size and grip. Also, I can do the same thing with other floating panels. Uh, right click to get the option menu from the title bar. I can hover at the top of my screen to access my Mac menu bar. I don't know if this is true on Windows. Now, docked panels are stuck to the edge of the ArtRage window. They have collapse buttons instead of using the title bar to close and open the panel. You can right click the collapse button on a dock panel and you get a menu of options, just as you would with a floating panel. One of those options is to tear it off the edge. Now that it's detached, I can use the close button to move it around. I can also rotate it and do everything I can with a floating panel because now this is floating because now I'm scaling it. So you don't, you don't, you can't accidentally close it when it's floating. So I don't have to worry about that. I can also access the menu by right clicking and then I choose attach to edge and I'm done. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you. Remember to share, like, rate, and subscribe and be back here next time for another lesson in ArtRage 4. Remember, go out and just create. Bye.